Hello, fourth grade string students. It's Miss Eucardus. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play song number 60, March Onward, from Muller Rush, book one. This song is 16 measures long and two lines long. And you'll notice they don't label a lot of the notes in this song, but you can use the help of songs 58 and 59, which have some of their notes numbered. You can compare to see which notes look similar and use those notes in songs 58 and 59 to help you label the notes in song 60 if you need to. Um, another thing, sometimes students ask me, well, how do I know which string to play a note on? So if you are a violinist, any note on the music staff that is above the second line, above the second line is on the A string. And we're looking at the note head. That means the dot part of the note. So if you're counting the music staff from the bottom, first, second line, if it's above the second line, it's on the A string. If it's below the second line, it's on the D string. If you play viola, any note that is on the very top of the staff and above and adds ledger lines, that is your A string notes. Anything that is on the top line and below the top line of the music staff, those are your D string notes. If you play cello, the A string notes start right on the top line of the music staff. So if you count the, leg the music staff from the bottom, the line starting at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, any note that's on the fifth line or above is A string. Any note that's below the fifth line is on the D string. So that will help you figure out which string to play which note. When you are playing a new piece of music, you wanna break it up into small parts. So you might wanna first practice only four measures and then stop and try those four measures again. Then you might wanna play measures five, six, seven, and eight and see how comfortable you get with them. And then you can put that first line together. So it is a bit of a process. And then you wanna do the same thing for the second line. Once you're comfortable with both lines, then you can play the whole song through. It's okay if you're practicing the same song for more than one week. That's very, um, that's a very normal thing for a musician. We often practice songs for a couple of weeks, maybe more than that if we need to. It depends on the song and how comfortable we are with it. So I'm going to play through the song March Onward. I'm going to put my metronome on that keeps the beat on in the background. And this is how it sounds. song number 60, March Onward. Until our next video, I'll see you next time.